Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you what to do when you have two chords that intersect somewhere inside of a circle. And you have to find the measurement of either an arc or an angle. So, uh, today this will have, this video will have five examples. So if you want to press pause so you can draw this in your notebooks, uh, and so you can follow along, uh, go for it and then unpause it. So, uh, so we have two chords that intersect. Uh, so you would expect that these two arcs here and here to be the exact same measure. However, they're not because these two chords don't intersect in the center. So these angles here aren't central angles. If these two chords intersected here in the center, then yeah, these two arcs will be the same, but they're just intersected somewhere in the circle that's not the center. But it's okay. Uh, this isn't that complicated of a problem. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight these two chords. And if you notice that these two arcs are being eaten by these two angles, these two vertical angles. So in order to figure out what this angle is, all we have to do is find the average of these two arcs. So we're going to take this 85 and add it to the 105 and divide it by 2 to find the average. And let's use our calculator. Uh, 85 plus 105 divided by 2 is 95 degrees. So the question mark is equal to 95 degrees. And uh, for funsies, since these two are vertical angles, this angle right here is also 95 degrees. All right, so example number two, if you wanna press pause so you can draw this in your notebooks, uh, feel free to and then unpause it so you can follow along. So this time, we're trying to find out what this arc is. And they give us information of its opposite arc and here's the, the two chords and the angles that are eating these two arcs or intercepting these two arcs so it's the exact same process we're going to take the average of these two arcs so we're going to take the question mark plus 165 degrees and divide it by two and set it equal to the angle 111 degrees and so what we're going to do is um, we're just going to put the one under here because that's the invisible number under any number and we're going to cross multiply this proportion so from here to here so one times all of this is question mark plus 165 is equal to 2 times 111, which is 222. And we're going to subtract this 165 from both sides. And let's use our trusty old calculator. 222 minus 165 is 57 degrees. So the question mark, the unknown angle, our arc uh, that we want uh, to find the measure for is 57 degrees. All right, example number three. All right, this time we have to solve for X. Again, they give us an arc. They give us the opposite arc and the two chords that make up the angles that are eating or intercepting those two arcs. Same steps, we're going to find the average of these two arcs. So 80 plus 54 divided by 2 is equal to 16x plus 3. And before uh, cross multiplying, uh, let's do this. Let's add this and divide by 2. So let's take the 80 plus 54 and divide it by 2. So this entire thing is equal to 67 and we're going to set it equal to 16x plus 3. 
So that means that this angle and its vertical angle are both 67 degrees. The question asks for x, so let's just solve for x. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. 67 minus 3 is 64 is equal to 16x. Uh, so this is 16 times x. Opposite of multiplication is division. And 64 divided by 16 is 4. So x equals 4. All right. Example number four, we're just rolling along. This time, we're solving for x. If you don't believe me, I know that's really small. Here it is. It's asking solve for x. Same steps. We have an arc. We have its opposite arc. We have the two chords that make up the angles that are intercepting the two arcs. So let's find the average of those two arcs. 95 plus 48x minus 1 all over 2 equal to 95. Oh, these two are the same measure. And we're going to see if we can combine like terms. We have 95 minus 1, which is 94, plus 48x over 2, which is equal to 95. Uh, so the number that you can put under any number is 1, the invisible 1 there. And we have a proportion. So let's just cross multiply. 1 times this expression is 94 plus 48x. And then 2 times 95 is 190. Let's just make sure. Yeah, 190. And let's subtract this 94 from both sides. 190 minus 94 is 96. It's equal to 48x. Opposite of multiplication is division. So 96 divided by 48 is 2. Oh. Uh, x equals 2. All right, and the last and final problem. Find the measure of angle MJL. So we're, it's asking for this angle, but they give us this arc and this arc and the two chords that intersect somewhere inside of the circle and the angles that are intersecting the, these arcs. So uh, these arcs are connected to these two angles, but we're trying to figure out what this angle is right here. So I'll just put a question mark and that's fine. We could still figure that out with the given information. Same steps. We're going to find the average of these two. 7x plus 11 plus 115 divided by 2. We're going to set it equal to 7x plus 21. Let's see if we can combine any like terms here. We have 111 or 1 or 11 plus 115, which is 126. We have the 7x over 2, and we're going to set it equal to 7x plus 21. And I'm going to put that invisible number 1 under there uh, so that we have a proportion. And you don't forget to cross multiply. So 1 times all of this is all of this. 7x plus 126 is equal to 2 times all of this. Okay, so I'm going to put the 2 over here. And so this means we're going to distribute this 2 here and here. A lot of people forget to distribute that 2 to that 21. So draw the little loop-de-loops little -loop there. So 2 times 7x is 14x plus 2 times 21 is 42. And let's just do some algebra. Let's subtract this 7x from both sides. And let's subtract this 42 from both sides. 14x minus 7x is 7x. 
and 126 minus 42. I believe that it is 84. And yep, 84. Now let's divide the 7 from both sides. 84 divided by 7 is 12. So, we're not done yet, though, because the question says, what is the, find the measure of angle MJL. We have X, X equals 12, and so we could plug that X into here. So, 7 times 12. 7 times 12. And we'll add that 21, which is 105 degrees. That means this angle is 105 degrees. And we're trying to find angle MJL, which is supplementary to that 105. So let's just subtract 180 minus 105 is 75 degrees. So angle MJL is equal to 75 degrees. And this is what you do when you have two chords that intersect somewhere in the circle but not in the center. You find the average and then you set it equal to the angle that's eating the two arcs. Hope that helps. Have a great day.